Yeah, I'm Mossman. Listen, take it out. I will speak in uh, English because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we came uh, traveling all the way from Norway to talk about moss and lichen and things that so grow so slowly on the internet. Um, and I'll, this is actually a story about a joke that became a wonderful, cute, funny, sustainable uh, web community. And I was uh, uh, having a, a workshop and I was demonstrating a tool for making web communities. And I just uh, made a, a dummy and with a green banner. And I just picked a, a random name and I called it the, the Moss Picture Enthusiast Zone. And then I uh, ran, uh, accidentally uh, put it on public. And 30 minutes later, 10 people that I didn't know uh, had uh, entered the zone and started to upload pictures. And it's been one year now, and there are hundreds of people uploading pictures of moss and like it. <laughs> and there are tons of pictures. <laughs> and that's because of this uh, accident. And here is a, a screen dump of the, of the page. And here are some typical enthusiasts. <laughs> like from all over Norway, we have cattle farmers, hipsters, nannies, grannies, everybody. But, and they have one thing in common, in common, and that is they dig moss. <laughs> Isn't this scary? <laughs> and this is a picture. Uh, taken by a teenager from Oslo on a Friday night. He should be out and um, and drinking his studies. <laughs> he took his camera, went up on his roof in the rain, and took a picture like this and uploaded this to this joke. And it's a bit, uh, yeah, why? Why? Why does he do that? And here's a comparison between uh, most pictures enthusiasts and Twitter. And I think maybe it's the calmness of the most picture enthusiast that kind of attracts people. And look at Twitter, it's so noisy and uh, screaming and... Yeah. And if you have read the, the a book by... Yeah. Sen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, if you read that by Robert Percy, there is a... Uh, uh, you might remember a story about a uh, professor. And he has a, a class of uh, pretty stupid students. They, they study hard, but they are also stupid because they, are, they, they cannot think for themselves. And then there's especially one girl, and he gives uh, her a task uh, to write 5,000 words about the city. Uh, and she, 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 can, she cannot do it. She starts to scream and, and cry and make a lot of drama. And then he's, he tells to her that, um, Okay, fuck the city, uh, find a street, find a building in that street, and find a brick in that building, and start writing 5,000 words about that brick. And she does, and then surprisingly, it becomes a very nice, good story. And his theory is that when you narrow something down, and you make something very specific, it's so much easier to be creative. And I think that is the reason why uh, the most pictures enthusiast is a success, because it's so narrow that it kind of triggers creativity. And this is an example of um, some contributions that we had recently. Uh, it started with landscape pictures, and now it's more uh, like moss pencils, street art in, in lichen, and yeah, videos. And also a moss point. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the content is kind of accelerating a lot, so we get a lot more content now. And there's one guy, he's a, a moss scientist, he's called Helge. Uh, and he is a biologist and a photographer, and he takes pictures like this. He uses a uh, special camera, and this is. Uh, this is just beautiful for people like me and the rest of the enthusiasts that, that digs moss. Um, 
Uh, this is actually, I mean, uh, on the next slide, you'll see that this is porn. This is not porn. <laughs> this, this picture is from an exhibition he had also a year ago. And he's currently in Japan uh, visiting uh, Moss Gardens to make a sequel. So Moss Porn 2 will come soon. <laughs> And uh, in my company, we have a tool to make this uh, website like this. And we have made 4,000, and a lot of them just dies. But some of them survives, and that's uh, the specific ones. Like fish, uh, shoes, industrial equipment, or sausage. A sausage, that's my favorite song. And it triggered me to do something, an idea that I had. <laughs> To make a super sausage with three courses in one sausage, uh, a starter, a main course, and dessert. And I actually I bought 20 meters of uh, casing in a ton. And I started and it worked really well. Uh, and, uh, but, but then when I boiled it, the dessert leaked out. So I replaced the uh, prune, a sticky compote, and replaced it with banana, so then it broke. And it was a really disaster because I had 12 people, <laughs> 12 people for dinner, and that was pretty what I served. <laughs> and it doesn't look good, and it tastes like shit. <laughs> but the point is that this narrow web community made me do something, and I did that. <laughs> and we are 150,000 members in Norway in these communities. I think that uh, Danes can also participate. You have to register with the telephone number. So if you want to try, you can, you can do that. Um, and yeah, very, a lot of them are strange. And we just use the, the last slide to thank all the people, the enthusiasts that contribute with all these the pictures. And if somebody wants to talk about sausages or moss, just contact me, I'm over there. <laughs>